This conference will now be recorded. Maybe not mention that. So, a uh, quick topic. Uh, what is the difference between, or I would say that, what do you mean by infinite stream? Okay. So there are two ways uh, you can generate your infinite stream uh, by using iterate and by using generate method. So these two methods are very simple, very important. I thought of creating a quick video uh, on these. So the concept name is uh, infinite stream, how to generate infinite stream, okay? So if someone is asking you, you can give uh, such examples. And it's uh, very helpful when you write some APIs or something like this, or you want to generate some random data or random numbers or constants, if you really want to generate, this thing is very helpful. So I quickly write infinite streams. Select the main method, click on finish. Now see quickly, it's a quick video. So infinite uh, streams used to generate, okay, data. Used to generate data for infinite time. But there's a limitation you can put and you can simply do that. So it's ultimately is used to generate the stream of data. Okay, generate stream of data. Okay, it will generate infinite stream of data. I would better write it like this, infinite stream of data. Now, there are two methods. The first method is you need to remember that is called uh, iterate method. It's not like iterator or something. The first method is iterate method. And how to use iterate method? Uh, the syntax like this. So uh, this is uh, a static method available in uh, you know stream class. And then you, what you have to do, it will take two parameters. One is, uh, you know, uh, one is a seed from where you want to start your beginning point, and then it will take one unary operator. Okay, you can check the Java documentation also, unary operator of any type of T, it will take it, and seed of type of, okay, any type of T, it will take it, and unary operator is a function, so I'll write F over here like this. So this is just a representation of it, right? Okay, and uh, remember this thing, this will, the return type of this guy is, it will return what? It will return a stream. Return a stream, okay? So it will return something like this, capital S stream, and then it will return T type of data stream like this, and it's a static in nature. Okay, so how to use that? Now it's very simple. Uh, let's see, I'll create one integer stream. So int stream dot, you simply write, uh, okay, int stream dot, simple write iterate over here. And first you import this, okay? And uh, you simply see that, okay? See, I'll show you this method. Seat, you give, let's see, zero, and one unary operator, you have to give that. So unary operator, let's see, we have passed something and we are getting something. So let's say I'm saying that uh, uh, for n, lambda two, okay, n plus two, give me this particular range and perform this particular expression over there. And then what you do that uh, you simply say that uh, mm -hmm. you simply say, let's see one mapper I'll write. Okay, map dot, okay, not map dot. I'll say, let's see map to object I'll write. Dot map to object and I'll just, whatever the integers are coming, I'm just writing a method expression over here, value of, and uh, simple say that, okay, limit of, let's see, give me up to 100 numbers, and dot collect as a string. So I simple write collectors dot uh, to list method. I'll be using it, and then uh, I'll be using, okay, let me, the return type, it will return another string, so I'll use a list over here. Okay, I'll store in a particular list of integers. And then you print this particular list. Let's see, uh, system.out.println. You can use a for, for each loop also, or you can simply write collect. And then you see, you're getting zero, two, four, five, okay, up to 
100 okay 100 elements we are getting not up to 100 the limit is 100 so we are getting like this so let me make it a short stream up to 10 so you see that okay 0 to 18 means uh, 10 numbers we are getting it over here okay 6 plus 4 10 numbers okay so it depends what kind of limit that you are okay giving it if you let's see if you comment this particular limit now you generate <clears throat> okay so what happens see it's not giving you anything because we have not given any limit over here so i'll do one thing let me uncomment this once again and now let's run it again now you are getting it like this right so this is iterate method very simple you can simple pass you can see one seed and one uh, unary operator you can pass it over here like that okay like this you can simply do that now the second method is to we generally use for generating the infinite stream that is called uh, generate method so this generate method we can simply use that yeah so this generate method syntax is uh, exactly same and but it takes it is also a static in nature so this is also this method is also static and uh, the method okay is a static and it's simple method name is generate and it will take one supplier okay supplier of uh, any type and then supplier as a function it will take it like this okay so let's see how to use that so let's say i want to generate some random number okay i want to generate some random numbers uh let's see um up to 100 that is a requirement okay so how to do this so i simply say that okay that uh, stream let's see i'll be using it stream dot okay just a second stream dot uh, i have to import first generate so that's a problem sometimes in eclipse first you have to import this so let me write See that it was running internally and that's why it's showing the java heap memory because we have commented this limit right and finally it will came it will come as out of memory so anyways let's you forget about it and i simply say that okay g e m e r a t e generate and then this uh, what kind of generate i simply say that uh, one lambda expression let's say i'm writing it and it will take as a supplier so supplier means you don't need to pass anything but it will give you some output so i'll simply say that okay give me a new random okay number like this and then you convert that number into dot next let me okay, it's not coming like this i'll do one thing let me let me let me my eclipse is still okay one second stream dot generate and then i'll generate new random okay over here and uh, dot see the options are not coming so no issues i'll write up to 100 like this okay so okay that we will add it no issues and then i want that some limit dot sorry guys suggestions are not coming suddenly so that's okay and then dot I simply take this as collect over here let's see it is working or not so dot collect like this okay and there's a stream we have to import so first you have to import the stream then only all the options will be there and saying that uh, generate it should be a supplier so it's a supplier only right okay random we have to import first fine gen okay fine yeah perfect okay maybe if you in your eclipse or intellij it will come automatically but that's a problem sometimes with eclipse that it will not give you auto suggestions okay like that so uh it will return what so it will return a list of uh, integers let's see this is my collection two is a list and then let's see i'm going to print it out collect number two so what i'm saying is generate and as i told you that okay generate will take a supplier and supplier remember that i think second video i told you it will not take anything as an input parameter so it's a blank parameter i'm passing it and then and then what exactly though uh, uh what exactly that okay you want to generate so i want to generate let's see random number like this okay so random number between let's see uh 
uh, between 0 to 99. So I'll simply say that, okay, up to 100, you give me the random numbers and the limit is 10 only. Okay, like this, and then let's see, print it on the console. And let's see what we are getting. See, you can see that 50, some random numbers we are coming getting like this, like that. Okay, let's run it again. Next time the data will be different, up to 100. Now let's see, let's make, give me uh, 15, or let's see, give me 10 up to 200. Okay, so this is a very good example. We can take it, yeah, see, now up to 200, we are getting some random numbers over here like that. Every time we will get a separate random, okay, different random numbers over here like that. So this is also a function you can simply use for uh, generating the streams over here, okay? So it's uh, very simple, guys. You can practice, especially for random numbers. It's uh, very powerful, and uh, you can simply do that. Other than that, uh, can we take one example? So I think that's all it came, okay? It's not only limited to this particular example. You can take some other examples as well. Later on, maybe, okay, with the different examples, with the different other use cases when we cover, that time maybe I can tell you some more examples, okay, with respect to it rate and with respect to, okay, all these things. So I think uh, that is uh, more than enough. But remember, the syntax, okay? So it rate will take what as a unary operator and generate will take as a supplier over there, okay? Supplier function it will take. So that's all for this particular video, guys. Please practice and let me know if you have any issues. Thank you so much.